Greetings hobbyists, this is Artans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at some of my favourites in the new update for the free ND add-on. So if you haven't seen anything about the ND add-on, I've got a video here which demonstrates some of its uses. It goes through some of my favourite features when creating a lightsaber type weapon, and as mentioned in the intro, it is free, which is amazing for such a powerful add-on. But we've got some new additions to it, so I'm just going to bring it in a cube, and we'll talk through some of these new additions. So the first is how we can interact with bevels has really changed. In that original video, which is linked in the description, I mentioned that if we press Shift and F to use Fast Predict, that's normally set to F, but I've changed the key mapping to Shift and F. We can click Bevel, and we're going to make a bevel. And then normally to change the amount of segments, you'd have to hold down Alt, and then you'd move backwards and forwards to change the amount of segments. And I said, well, this is quite nice, but it's not like a lot of other add-ons and the native Blender function where we've got used to just scrolling up on our mouse wheel. And now that has been changed. So we can just scroll up and down on our mouse wheel so we can change the number of segments and then click. It's really nice that we've got that there. The other change that we've got, if I press Shift and F, remember that would be normally just F for you, and click Bevel, and we start moving backwards and forwards, we automatically start changing the bevel. And that might be really annoying, because the thing that we just want to change is the segment. So this could be really tedious. Now, what they've done, if I just go to Edit, Preferences, come to Add-ons, and then go down to ND, is they've given us an option so that we can sort that out. If you go to the UI, and you click this lock overlay parameters on recall and then save our preferences, what will happen now is that if I press our shift and F again, you can also press shift and two, and then you get all of the options, not just the fast recall ones, and click bevel, you'll notice that it's all locked. I'm not gonna accidentally change anything. And then you'll notice by each item, you've got press X to unlock. And we do that while using that function. So for example, if I only want to change the segments, if I press Alt and X, now I can scroll up and down to change the number of segments as I choose to. But I'm not going to accidentally affect anything else. And then if I want to change the width, I can then hold Shift and then press X, and that will unlock my width, which is really handy. Now, if I do want to just totally reset it again, I can just press X one more time and it will go back to zero as well. So a really, really nice feature, which isn't even there in some of the paid add-ons like hard ops. And if you know my channel, you'll know I absolutely love hard ops. So if I'm saying that something has got one over on hard ops, it's really impressive. Now, the other function I'm really impressed with, if I just shift an A and bring in another cube and then let's just move that there. And then I'm gonna shift an F again it would normally be F and do a difference boolean, is, let's just move that actually, and then we can hide it, is that normally if we were to duplicate this object, so let's just shift and D, we would then have that booleaned object remaining where it is. And if I bring this over here, that booleaned object now is having no effect on this. But now we can do things with that. So if I just press shift and two, and then go to Utils and go to Smart Duplicate, we can then bring that over and if we come here and then cycle, we can see that we've got that object there. So it's made a new version of this object, which is really cool. Now there's another option for this as well. So let's do the same thing again, but this time I'm gonna go to Linked Duplicate. Now this is absolutely fantastic. Let's just move this over here. So yeah, that will do. Now. What we've got here is, this is my original object here. This one was created using the smart duplicate function, and this one was created using the link duplicate function. Now what this means is that if I go to this object, let's go to face mode, and then start moving this. So I'm gonna move this in the Y direction. You can see that the smart duplicate, while it was originally identical, is not linked to the original object, whereas the one that is linked is, which is really cool. So I can now modify one and it modifies the other. Now this is the bit that I actually think is really smart, in fact very, very smart, because you can do this in certain ways in Blender. But what's really nice is that if I bring back a cycled object, which is here, and I go into edit this, this is also being linked to the cutter that is cutting out this object here. So if I just press Shift and F and cycle, you can see there's an object there and it changed with it. And I could even do it the other way around. I could do it with this one. So let's just G and then X that that way a little bit. So we can go either way with this. 
I think that is an amazing feature. I'm really, really excited about that because it makes it so much easier to start dealing with multiple objects and duplicates that we've created where we can not only just edit the original object and you can do that with Blender anyway. For example, if I press Alt and D, we'd still have this being possible. So I could G and then Y that and it would do everything that's linked. But with ND, it also creates the cutters and links the cutters to as well. So really impressed with that. I love that feature. Now this final feature may even be better than that. And that is that normally when we do something like this and we've created these linked objects, if I was to come here and let's just say Shift and F and then start editing the bevel, so let's do something like that, you'll notice it doesn't edit the bevel on the other object. I'm just going to escape to stop doing that. Now what we can do with ND, now notice this object isn't the same shape, but if we go into the modifier panel, you'll notice all the modifiers are the same. So I can still do it with this object, even though I've changed the shape of this one. So what I can do is click and then shift click and shift click. And this one that was the last one that I've selected, I always have my active object set up to be blue, just to make this easier to see. If you've got the experimental features enabled on ND, now just to be clear about this, I've already done this. You have to go to ND and then general, and then you have to enable this experimental feature. And it does nicely note that you're gonna to have to restart Blender for that to be able to work, which is why I've already done that. With that enabled, what I can do is now press Shift and two, go to sync modifiers in the utility menu. So we've done that there. And now what that means is all of these modifiers here in my bevel, you'll notice a purple and the same with my difference boolean as well, though that's less relevant. For the bevel, everything's purple and that's because this is set up a driver, which means that if I click on my controlling object, the one that was my active object at the time, you'll notice those aren't purple because this is the one that is controlling all the others. So I can now change the bevel here and it will change it on all of the others. Same with the number of segments. I can up that or down that. Let's put that to 12. And I can also do that through the ND menu. So I can go to bevel here and then press X to unlock that and change that as well. An absolutely amazing feature. Now I can see me using that with bevels a lot. But I also want to mention that if we just add in an array there, let's just add one and then we'll do the same thing here. So we're setting up an array and I'm making sure they're both set up as two. Let's just move that over there slightly and we can probably delete that one out because we're not doing it with this one. So what I can do here is click that object, shift click here and then shift and two and then we'll sync those modifiers again. And now on this one, the array has also been linked. So I can always come here and then change that array, X1 lock it, and just add more or less to that array. So we can keep everything synced up if we want to. If at any point you don't want those to be synced, all you need to do is come to the amount here. So for example, if we come to the array here, so this one, we can always right click and then delete driver, and then we've still got those going on. So you can always change these to be unlinked if you want to, but what a lovely feature to be able to have. So that was a quick look at some of the new functionality that we've got in this ND add-on update. Once again, I do want to mention this add-on is free. It comes from Huge Menace. And for me, I think this is an essential upgrade for anyone that is using Blender for any form of hard surface modeling. If you found that video useful, please do hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm gonna do another video at some point covering ND and comparing it to hard ops, because there's a lot of similar features that both of them have, but there are also some really important differences that I think are worth knowing about. If you're making the decision of whether you need ND and hard ops, or you can just make do with the free ND add-on. And finally, if you do want to support the channel any further, there is a Patreon page where for a few dollars a month you get these videos ad-free a week ahead of time and other great perks as well, such as being on the channel's Discord. Have a great day, guys.